Hello YouTube, I'm Jeff, here to show you the rooftop rack I built for my car. Why did I do that if Tesla sells an elegant roof rack for $550? Well, I didn't like that they secure the rack to the roof using metal clips slipped under the glass edge of the roof. I had visions of the glass breaking and the repair tag for that. What about Yakima Tuli? Well, neither company makes a rack for my car. My last experience with Yakima was a roof rack to be that began to slip off the roof of the car I owned before this one, with two canoes on top. I analyzed their design after that near catastrophe. I was not impressed. Even if they've improved their design since then and had a rack for my current car, I wouldn't have bought it. I've paid enough for their product design school. For the car I owned before this one, I designed and built a durable wood roof rack that I could depend on not to fall off and endanger other people on the highway or destroy my canoe. For this car, since I have a welder and enough welding experience to make something, I designed a new rack. This is the beta version and it's good, to no good enough to lay on some paint and take it on the road. This rack works for any vehicle whose roof has a lip to which this clip can cling. My car has frameless windows on its doors. By design, my car lowers the windows just before I open the doors. The windows rise after closing the doors. On other cars with frameless door windows, the glass may strike the clip. Glasses with framed windows may have a rubber gasket bridging the gap between the door and the roof. You may need to grind the steel lip thinner to fit. The front rack is made of quarter inch steel for the load bar and three eighths inch steel for the upright. An air <clears throat> the wood top is 1 by 6 by 4 feet and aerodynamically shaped in front and back. Version 2 may have a load bar of steel C-channel. I have bolted the base of the upright to a shaped plywood piece that extends the fore and aft stability of the rack to 9 inches. Pieces of old inner tube interface between the plywood piece and the roof of the car. Now for some details on the hardware securing the rack. This side clip has a lip on the bottom to keep it on the roof edge. To pull the clip up against the roof edge, I turn a bolt on top of the clip. The bottom of the bolt acts on a shelf welded to the upright to bring the clip up. To bring the clip in toward the car, I turn a nut on a bolt fixed to the upright. More inner tube at the bottom of the clip. The rear rack differs from the front rack only in the thickness, 1 8 inch, of the steel used for the load bar and the uprights. The clips did deflect when I tightened the nut. I reinforced the clips with a piece of 1 8 inch thick steel. A test of the rack at up to 58 miles per hour showed the rack performing well. It was very steady and I only heard minor wind noise. Cost of the project was maybe 80 to 100 dollars. If you do this I would recommend steel thicker than 1 8 inches for the uprights and the side clips. C-channel steel bar for the load bars may reduce weight and may help avoid to uh, having to bolt on the 1x6 board. Thanks for watching and have a great day.